Hey, what's going on? I just wanted to weigh in on Giovanni's uh Giovanni Max video. I mean, he said a lot of things in his video that were very, very interesting to me. I mean, you know, he said a lot of stuff that was very interesting. And I wanted to, you know, say something while he was talking, but something said just be quiet. And listen, because he's pouring out his heart. And he's trying to tell you something if you just listen. I almost lost it when he brought the tears in. I was like, when he was about to cry, I, I did. My heart melted for him and what he had to endure. And then I thought about it. I was like, well, maybe these young boys are pre exposed and predisposed to subjugate black women to keep you in line to keep you and when he said his mama lost all her teeth that hurt me to the core I was so hurt I, I was really hurt you know I was mm -mm, I just couldn't I couldn't I, I didn't want to go there with him I just didn't want to go I had to look away but I still tried to listen. And so, you know, it was it was sad, but I understand now. And I understand what he was saying. He said, well, to me, this is this is my interpretation of what he said, and I could be wrong. He said, my parents raised me in an affluent lifestyle. I lived good. I went to nice schools. I didn't use the uh, et cetera, and um, uh, um, and stagnant pause, poses in my speech. I was taught well, and I, you know, I didn't use, you know, basically. And he dressed nice or whatever. And then another part, he said his dad didn't work, so um, that's not my business. But anyway, he was taken care of. What I got out of it was, he was letting y'all know he don't play by his mama. So whatever y'all doing, don't be messing with that man, mama. Cause they already put him in the sunken place. But when he get out, you don't want to be there. When he get out the sunken place, and that's what I—that's my interpretation of what he said. But it was really, really sad, and I'm. I'm glad he was open enough to share that story with us. But it, it took me back to the part in the movie, The Help. When I remember when The Help, she was, you know, she was all mouth, 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 and they couldn't control her. But when her husband got home, he beat her. And I said, is that what they do to us? They just beat us into submission and beat us and misuse us and leave you with kids and leave. Is that what they do? Is this what they do to subjugate you? I don't know. This is just me ranting. Because Giovanni got me to really thinking about what, you know, what is really going on behind the mistreatment of the black female. Okay, whatever you did, I mean, how long we got to suffer, you know? I'm not suffering. I'm enjoying my life. And you trust, honey, I am, I'm about to stand outside with a can, shake me a can. If I got to get, get, get you know, get where I got to go. I'm still working, you know, but shit, I, I got to get me. I, I, I just can't go through it. And when he was talking... I knew what he was talking about. I knew. It was sad. It was really sad to hear him open up like that. And nobody ever has to open themselves up like that. You know, thank you, Gio. I mean, because, you know, I understand you're human. You have feelings. You know what I'm saying? But my issue is the black female. I'm not against any kind of uh, 
trans, whatever you say you are, whatever you want to be. I'm not against you. I'm not against you. I, I mean, mm -mm, that's not that. That was, and I I was one of the first ones who told Kai to come out of there around those men making those remarks. One of the first one. I I didn't want anybody to misinterpret what I said. I said, be careful, because you're dealing with a personality. One is male physically, and one is female. And I was telling her to be careful because it, that it's extroverted and it's unstable. And I was telling her to be careful. I was just sending out a, a distress signal. I, I I sensed it. And I was just trying to tell her to be careful, baby, because you, you run in your mouth, but you don't understand. Words have power, so you need to be careful. You see what I'm saying? That's all I was trying to say. I wasn't trying to make it a women against the trans and trans and homeless. I wasn't finished. And that was not my intention at all. Okay? I, I, I've hung around transsexuals. I, I, I've hung around them. And I understand, you know... part of who they are. I'll just run you a little example. Um, I had a friend, he dressed up every day nice, sharp, you know, he would stole his clothes or whatever back in the day. Dressed up, looked good, kept his hair fixed, sweet nails, sang, played the music, he was a musician, he played the piano, you know, and all that, you know, dressed in his dress, in the past in the church, I said to them, you know, or whatever, but, you know, one day he was over to the house, and I was just bouncing the basketball. Just casually bouncing the basketball. And I guess he was, you know, noticing me bouncing the basketball, and I was like, I bounced it toward him. And with no effort, no effort, he caught it with one hand. And then... For a few seconds, the tone of his voice deepened, and he started laughing in a man's, like, <laughs> and it, I immediately realized that that's who he is. He may be dressed up like a female, but he caught that ball with no effort, and he noticed me noticing him notice me noticing him. If that made any sense. So I was just telling Kyle to be careful. That's all I was saying. I didn't mean to start no controversy or whatever. And I'm going to tell anybody. You're dealing with a personality. That's unstable. And you should be careful. Tread lightly. Because they have strength and they. That's who they are. My grandma used to say you're dealing with a man and a woman. At the same time. So tread lightly. Okay, uh, that's the end of my video. Y'all have a blessed day. And I hope this works out. I am having separation anxiety right now because I can't watch the Queen's Court. That was one of my favorite things to do on Monday nights at 10 o'clock. And I liked it at 10 o'clock. I sure did. I am really... Going through it now because I had nothing to do now. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm aged. I don't want to part. I don't want to go. I was sitting in my bed and lay. That's what I want to do. Okay. Goodbye. See y'all later.